but I still don't believe that those of us who make mistakes should have to suffer uh, for the rest of our lives or for any time past right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to make you suffer for any amount of time past the present moment. They're going to see hate. They're going to see jealousy. They're going to see this type of stuff because that's where the energy at now. A person like me, so the, the higher level, I walk through the energy grid. I'm going to see people, you know what I'm saying? People say, hey, you know what I'm saying? People speaking to you, you know what I'm saying? People smiling, you know what I'm saying? People actually want to see you around now, you know what I'm saying? People actually happy, you know what I'm saying? People, you know what I'm saying? Actually show you respect and stuff like that, because that's where your energy is. She's my diamond girl, and you know she got what I need. What I need, what I need, what I need, what I need. She's my diamond girl, and you know she got what I need. What I need, what I need, what I need. What I need, what I need. For the real good, just cause I'm so hood If you ain't girlfriend, I wish that you would Try to act right, be my lady Let's have this baby, I won't be shady Let's live a good life, wealth and lavish Puff some cabbage, pass on the baggage I'm not your ass You gotta back up, bro I know you remember the rock Yo, 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 OH10 Turk Tech, your boy Chuck back in the building um just wanted to do an update video um to my float video because it's been about four days now and i'm still feeling the effects my uh sleep is a lot more restful uh, my mind is a lot more peaceful i can get back to peace a lot quicker I can get back to presence a lot quicker um, after being disturbed. <clears throat> if you uh, kind of if you get disturbed by somebody else's thoughts, good yeah, if you get disturbed or interrupted by somebody else's thoughts in the middle of your your meditation or whatever else and um, as because all forms want to persist um, I used to get upset when that happened so sometimes I'll still get upset um, I'll still get upset when I'm when I'm disturbed like that but to come back to a place of no mind is um, is a beautiful thing. And to come back, you know, in an instant, as soon as you notice it, so those thoughts don't have to fester and then make something else that you don't want to manifest, show his head. You know, whether that be another person or a situation, anything. Um, this is the last video that I'll be doing from this place. <coughs> yeah, this is the last video I'll be doing from <coughs> this location. Uh, my homeboy was gracious enough to let me and my son stay with him while I was going through uh, what I was going through. Well, I'm still going through it. I just have a place of my own now. I uh, <clears throat> rented a townhouse. Still real close to the airport. Uh, real close to everywhere that I need to be. Right off the freeway, like directly off the freeway. Um but it's kind of tucked away still. Uh, it's got uh, two floors. You know what? I'm going to show it to you. Boom. Uh, yeah, so uh, it, it is uh, It's two floors. Let me get that light out of there so you can kind of see that. It's two floors. It's got in-suite laundry. It's just dope. Um... Uh, it's just going to be me and my son there anyway, and my daughter when she's there. There is a, uh, they have a three-bedroom, 
but all it was with it was the two bedroom and then the loft area was partitioned off as the third bedroom i didn't really need to pay 200 dollars for a partition so i went with the two bedroom and uh we'll be okay i'm gonna use that space upstairs uh to continue to do what i've been doing so don't think i've gone anywhere i'm just in the uh in the midst of moving it's all good stick in there <laughs> hang with me you know what i'm saying yeah it's all good man uh i think so i was talking to my son and um i think uh I don't think that we will be taking anything uh, from the old house to the new house just from an energy standpoint, you know, it's, uh, uh, yes, I, I, I was the one that made the mistake, uh, but I still don't believe that those of us who make mistakes should have to suffer uh, for the rest of our lives or for any time past right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna make you suffer for any amount of time past the present moment. You know, once I've had enough, I'm gone. I ain't gonna press you about it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you know how I feel, and I'm gonna move on. Tomorrow I won't be thinking about it. Uh, but all of us, I'm not gonna say people, all of us, um, want to persist in some type of form so i understand it uh the dry baby don't want to be wet once it's wet it don't want to be dry again so i completely get it but <clears throat> i don't think that um anyone should have to uh suffer for that at all Sorry, I was looking at the <laughs> at some of these other apartments. Yeah, I didn't realize how hard it was to find an apartment. I bought my house back in 2000 and 10, 2011, somewhere around there. Um, the end of the first uh, decade. And we found the house. And I went through USAA, bing, bang, boom. Next thing you know, I own a house. But uh, what I didn't know at the time, uh, due to, I had never, inexperience, I had never bought a house before. Uh, and I say this just to, to show how the universe has protected me uh, throughout my life. Um, I went into buying this house and I bought it pretty much blind. We didn't get a, uh, didn't get anybody really to come out and look at it any kind of inspection or nothing like that. I really didn't know what I was looking for, um, right up front off the rip. And, um, I could have got screwed, you know, but it turns out. I actually got a really good deal on the house. Uh, the appreciation in the house, my wife and I are going to split and everything's going to be fine. So, I mean, I could have bought a house that had all types of issues and problems. I mean, it was an older house, but I found out later that the basement had been waterproofed. I didn't know that when I bought the house. The basement had been waterproofed. Um, <clears throat> there was a there was a couple minor issues, but you know nothing, nothing real major. Uh, I did have to put some windows in the house, but like I said, I, I, it's all coming back to me because we bought the house. Maybe it was at the right time, and the appreciation is going to allow us to. Um, allow my wife and I to not have uh, money problems while we going through this so 
that's always a good thing. You know, when somebody's going through something and they're upset and you got money problems, <laughs> that's a bad combo. So I've always taken care of my people, man, even if even if that wasn't the case. She wouldn't have to worry about that, and uh, I hope she knows that. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, so this will be my last uh, broadcast from here. Uh, I signed my lease on the 16th. Actually, on the probably here in the next couple of days, I'll sign the lease. Uh, my move-in date is the 16th, so I got a couple of days. I got to get you know water and electric turned on but yeah we're not my son and I are not taking or we're not taking much um, from the old house just basically our personal effects and all of my uh, recording equipment my video recording equipment the computers and all of that good stuff uh, we're gonna take that stuff with us uh, of course all my <laughs> all my mics that's down here uh, I'm going to be taking those as well. And we're going to keep it moving, man. Like like, uh, like nothing ever happened. You know, everything will be set up. Um, I can get back to getting on my whiteboard, which is something that I miss. Um, is the, the sitting in front of my whiteboard, writing ideas on it. And once it's full, I take a picture of it and erase it. So I've got quite a few pictures with ideas from my whiteboard. And that's kind of what carried me along. But I really, um, actually, things have been working out real well. Uh, I saw that Austin Simrel was sick. Uh, I hope you are feeling better, good brother. And uh, I'll be here waiting on you to call me, bro. <clears throat> I know he just got back from Las Vegas. What else? Yeah, so just um, just moving, and I'm helping my other friends still with their uh, getting their artwork out. Uh, I have another partner of mine who is working on getting T-shirts with everybody's logos and this, that, and the third. And in the next coming weeks and months, you'll start to see me uh, wearing those uh, shirts. So if there's something you like and you know, maybe you want one. I could probably arrange something. <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. But I got some pretty uh, pretty dope t-shirt ideas. Uh, pretty fire-ass t-shirt ideas, actually. So we'll see how that goes. I think Ruben's uh, working on that. Uh, Salvo Picasso. My bad. <laughs> Salvo Picasso, that's my homeboy. Uh, Julius. We're still working with him. And uh, JDH Arts, he's got this new paint style, man, that or this new idea that he's starting to paint, and it's absolutely amazing. Like, I can't, you know, that is one of the most talented artists uh, that I know. You know, shouts out to Salvo Picasso and JDH Arts, uh, Julius DeWitt Hanna. Real dope. Go check. You can check him out on his website, JDH Arts, A R T S, uh, dot com. JDH Arts dot com. Uh, Ruben, and I, Ru, Ruben, or Salvo has not, we're working on all that stuff for him. You know, he is more of a graffiti artist. Reminds me a lot of, uh, of uh, uh, the guy that was with Basquiat, I can't remember. Ram L Z reminds me reminds me a lot of Ram L Z. Real, um, just art everywhere. You know, not that he looks like him or that he paints like him. It's just the 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 sheer amount of work that goes into one piece of art just reminds me of those masks that uh, Ram L Z was doing back in the early 80s. Um, what else? I think that's about it, man. I just wanted to drop drop in and, and let you know what was going on with me and that I will be back. I got, you know, plenty of ideas. 
I just gotta have the time and the space uh, to make those ideas uh, reality. So I appreciate all of my new subscribers. Uh, make sure you like it and comment on these videos. If you got questions, hit me up. Ain't no big deal. I'm just a regular motherfucker, just like y'all. Um, <clears throat> you know what? We are going. I did say I was going to smoke a little bit, and I got my my Dynavap. Yeah, I usually do dabs out of my Simrel and uh, weed out of my Dynavap. So, I will, uh, maybe we get high a little bit before I get out of here. Somebody told me that I didn't have to put black tape on there. And I know that I didn't have to put black tape on it. Um, I just don't like when I'm smoking my weed. I don't like to fumble with the hole. You know what I'm saying? It's not my thing. They say, oh, you could, you know, turn it and close. It still leaks. Even when you turn it all the way closed, it still leaks. So cut it out. You still have to find a hole and put your finger over it, which is not bad if that's what you like to do. I'm not interested in that. I just want to boop and go. Ain't nothing to clear in here, so I won't be clearing nothing. Just want straight smoke, that's all. Faithful right there. Yeah, she got some miles on her. Look at that. Some miles. There you go. How's that better? Oh, faithful. Yo, gal. <laughs> and that's the uh, sim rail. You already know what it is. Yeah, this is the, this really all I need right here. You know what? I'm, I'm thinking about not even bringing all my glassware, man. I may just smash it up and get rid of it, man. I'm, uh, I'm on some whole new shit, so. As my nigga would say, some whole nother shit. <laughs> Dirt Tech, peace.